Hello everybody, this is Kerm Killed the Cat, and welcome to your 12th C++ tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be going over using the static keyword in classes. Uh, this will probably be a pretty short tutorial. Sorry, but I'm pretty short on time today. I have a research paper that's due in school next week, and I have not started it yet. So, sorry about that. So, to use the static keyword in a class, it's a bit different. So, you'll remember from our static keyword and function tutorial that the static keyword would make a variable last over different runs of the function. So the static keyword is similar in classes, but the static keyword makes the same variable exist in separate instances of the class. So when using the static keyword for a variable in a class, that variable will have some special properties. The first one is that you cannot initialize the variable in the constructor. So let's try to do that. We'll say mname equals, say, Bob still using the cheesy names from last tutorial, and then we'll build this. And we get an interesting error, one unresolved external symbol, private static class, standard basic string, char struct, st okay, I'm not gonna read that. And we get some weird symbols, and uh, if you don't know this, this is an extremely confusing error message to figure out. Uh, there are a couple error messages that are like this, and they're very confusing when you don't know what they mean. So I'm teaching you what this one means. Uh, generally, if you see a lot of at symbols, you'll know it's one of these. The same thing will happen when we get into polymorphism. You can get these errors a lot, what are called virtual functions, but we'll get into that later. So what we have to do is we have to take this away from the constructor, and we actually have to initialize it away from the constructor, like this. So we'll say standard string and player colon colon m name equals Bob and then we build it and that error goes away and by the way we cannot do this well first of all we can't do that because we never ended the string and second of all I think I forgot to mention this last tutorial you cannot initialize variables in the dot h file or the declaration of the class. It will raise an error like this. So you have to declare it like this in the .cpp file. But after this is done, we can get into how static is used in classes. So let's create a new instance of player. So we'll call him p2. So let's say p1.rename Steve. And first, let's actually, we, you know, we can just get rid of all this. We're not interested in that anymore. So let's say standard count uh, p1 dots, I think it was get name. No, we actually need to implement that function because I never did a last tutorial. Um, let's just make this public. No, let's not. We'll put in the function. So let's say standard, or no, let's do this right. Standard string. We have a reference to a standard string because, like I said in the references tutorial, that type of variable can be big. We'll say get name and const. You could also say const and standard string and get name but it's the same thing if you do this this is how you're supposed to do it for functions like this and we'll define it in the cpp file standard string no nope. string and player get name const return m name name there we go so now we build it and everything works so now let's output p1 dot get name and p2 dot get name and endline. And now we'll only rename 
the, pl the name of player one to Steve, and then we can now put. Let's just output the same thing again. We can copy and paste it, and then we output this. And what is wrong with this? Ah, I forgot to put parentheses here. Now it will do that again for the second one because I copied it. There we go. So now if we output this, Bob, Bob, Steve, Steve. So both of them are changed to Steve, even though we only renamed the P1. So this one M name variable remains the same through all instances of the class. So you can see how this could be very useful for a bunch of things. And we'll probably be using it a lot as we get into more advanced C++. But you may not see it for a while, but trust me, it is very useful. So that's all for this tutorial. Sorry it's so short. Uh, I have to get working on things. My vacation ends today. So I really do need to start working on things. Sorry. But next tutorial, we will be going into inheritance in classes. So see you then.